Welcome Libra to your reading. And before we begin, I'd like to ring the meditation singing bowl to clear our energy. So if you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels and highest guard is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Libra. So let's go ahead and get straight into your reading and find out how does your person currently feel towards you. So before we do that, I would like to check in with your energy, Libra. Okay. So this is to see if this reading is for you. So, Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the collective Libra that I'm channeling for this particular reading? Thank you, Spirit. Can you please bring forth Libra's energy? How do they currently feel towards their love interest at this time? What can you reveal to me about Libra's feelings towards the person that they are thinking of in this present moment? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I see that you're trying to let go of a situation and you do have some doubt. Um, perhaps you actually blame yourself, okay, for some of the karma that you are experiencing. Um, I see that you you really see that you are a devoted person. Some of the Libras just watching this is actually married, okay? Um, and if you're married, okay, what I'm hearing is that you really would like to let go of the situation, but you have doubt, okay, that things will work out if you do let go of your karmic partner, okay? At least that's what I'm seeing. Um, the other thing is on the flip side, if you're connected to someone who is in another marriage or relationship, um, you feel like you need to let go of that person because you don't want any kind of karma coming back uh, towards you or any kind of gossip. So in this case, you're kind of torn about making a decision, okay? I see that you're coming up with some sort of idea here, okay, to overcome the obstacle, okay, and really frame yourself from whatever it is that you're thinking. So bottom of the deck, we have your three pentacles, I see that for the moment you're working alone and um, you really feel like you shouldn't put any kind of effort into anything. So regardless of, you know, whether or not you're in a relationship or your other person is in a relationship, whatever the attachment is, you're just not even going to entertain it because either way, there, there could be some backlash or whatnot. Okay, and you have struggled with this idea, but you feel like it's better to just kind of stay in your corner. Okay, at least for now. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, Spirit, <clears throat> can you tell me how does this person think towards Libra? How are they thinking towards you at this time? or their thoughts and feelings towards you in the present moment. So if that resonates with you, let's take a look and see how are they thinking and feeling towards you. Okay, I see that they're being defensive. And, um, okay, so they have accepted about letting go and moving on. And they're really sad about it. So I really feel like this is for my twin flame connections. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I really feel like Libra, either you're kind of caught up in a karmic situation or the person of interest is. And someone is kind of stuck in that, you know, scenario. Okay. So um, they feel that um, they need to move on, you know, and um they're afraid to change for whatever reason. I feel like there's this pessimism, you know, and ego that is actually getting in the way of really trying to be happy. So um, 
they do want to offer you a beginning okay um they're really trying to muster up the courage to do it but i see here um the magician They may not, okay, so they may disguise this as some other offer. So in the physical, in the 3D, they may be offering you something, okay? Um, so this is acts of service. This is like just them being kind towards you. They're trying to mask it for their way of, you know, interacting with you, if you will, okay? Um, I'm also seeing here the page of swords. So they're talking to their friends, you know, just like the small talk is what I'm hearing. Um, so low key, they're trying to let go, but they, they still want to keep you in the loop. Okay. Um, so yeah, so if that makes sense, let's go ahead and see. Um, what is their intention? So Sperry, can you please reveal to me what is this person's true intentions towards Libra at this time? What are their true intentions towards Libra at this time? What are their intentions? Thank you. Okay, so I see that they're trying to be successful. Maybe they're focusing on their career. Um, I see that um, if there were any plans about like travel, okay, um, the plans don't fall through. So if you guys were supposed to meet up in some sort of way, I really feel like it was a failed attempt. Okay. Um, they're not being honest with you. Maybe it's because financially they're not doing so well. Um, I'm also saying that they just want to do the right thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I really feel like they want to be with you. Okay. This may happen really soon. Actually, I really feel like within four days, Okay, um, and that's what Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, so if you guys are kind of in that situation, okay, there's something about um, them, you know, doing the right thing, maybe perhaps on Mother's Day. Um, let's see. So they're not going to put any effort. So I really feel like they, uh, maybe they're just respectful of you and your boundaries, you know? So like if you're a mother or a father, okay, they may check in with you to say, hey, happy Mother's Day, but that's it, okay? They can't really offer you much is what I'm seeing here. Um, if you guys are at a distance, maybe their intention was to kind of be closer towards you around this time, but it doesn't, it doesn't really fall through um, is what I'm getting. And um they're just not telling you that um, they're just not in a good space right now. And they don't have much to really offer is what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, I see her mother figure. Okay, they want to give you like a new, um, I guess, a confession. Okay, like there's an opportunity for them to give this offer to you within a month. So for four days within a month's time, this person may come in and out of your life. So I feel like there's like this back and forth energy that's going on between you and them. They really feel like they've made a wrong decision. And um, they're using their intuition to figure out how to apologize to you. Okay, because they really feel that you are someone significant in their life. Okay, I really feel like this is a twin. So, um, and even if it's not a twin, let's just say you feel like this is your soulmate. Okay, take it as it resonates. But I see that someone checks in and checks out. Okay, and then they'll check in with you at the end of the month. Okay, or within the end of four weeks. Okay, whatever that means for you. So that's like, you know, like mid-July is what I'm seeing. Maybe first week of July is another, another uh you know, uh, encounter is another time that I see that you guys could potentially link up with one another. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else. Um, Sperry, can you please reveal to me? How do you guys feel towards one another? How do you guys feel towards one another? What are the feelings?
So they feel inspired. Your light illuminates their mind and soul, but you feel so far away. You guys are at a distance. So I have a feeling like you and this particular person, you guys are not together, but both you guys are thinking of one another, right? And for you, okay, we have your unhealthy, but it is in reverse. So um, maybe before you needed help, but you no longer need help. Um, maybe your health is um, doing better. Okay, so, you know, make sure that... Um, you're taking your vitamins, right? Um, um, eating well and uh, making sure that um, you take care of your health. Make sure you rest is another thing I'm also hearing. But I really feel like uh, the two of you are not physically together. Okay. Um, but they do think of you. So let me see here. Spirit, can you tell me what is the outcome of this person? So their intention is to, I feel at some point to be with you. Okay. Um, did I say July? I mean, June. <laughs> I can't remember if I said that. Guys, I don't know. This Mercury retrograde got me going. <laughs> so let's see. All right, so we have here, hold on. We have here, um, your person is accepting, okay, that they are moving on and they're healing, okay? I feel like they are reflecting on letting go of um, the pessimism. Wow. So this is what I'm hearing. If your person has like a karmic partner, they're trying to let go of that person right now. So again, remember in the very beginning, I feel like um, there could have been another situation. Well, if that's the case, if your person is in another relationship or they have a situation with someone else, I feel like right now they are trying to move on from that karmic person. Okay. So they can have a new beginning with you is what I'm seeing because right now you guys are not physically together and I feel like they're preparing themselves uh, to to be with you in the future right now they're not feeling very secure and i feel like it's financial okay so they're holding on to whatever that they have so that they can feel uh somewhat secure um there is a bit of a challenge dealing with the karmic is what i'm seeing and um ultimately things will work out in their favor okay in regards to this third party um there is a bit of jealousy that's going on so i really feel like they might be having some sort of argument and you know let's just say that someone there is a baby's mama okay like i'm not saying that it's gonna go over well for whatever it is um they're trying to do the right thing okay um so i feel like they're holding back their feelings because they're trying to hold back because the karmic is jealous. Wow. So, I mean, if that makes any sense, you know, especially if it's a mama, okay, like, yeah, um, there's a little bit of tension going on uh, with you, Libra, with your person. I mean, I could be talking about you if you're dealing with a, a, a karmic and you have someone else outside somewhere you know but whatever this energy is there is a third party who is watching and or they notice something okay and um let's just say that your person reaches out to you um that might be like a little short thing like a short check-in i'm not getting much of a conversation there you know because they feel like there's someone else that's around them i don't know that, that's the feel i'm getting um and for some, it's the mom, okay, that's karmic. So I'm hearing mama's boy, just saying, okay, uh, look at this. So they're trying to release their fear and um, and really reveal their secrets, their truth towards you. This is the moon in reverse. So whatever that they were hiding, they want to um, tell you, okay, that they're trying to move on from the karmic, like, you know, and what a week, right, to do it on Mother's Day weekend, you know, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, let me know how that goes, Libra. So it looks a little rocky, but hopefully it's something that you can handle. 
<laughs> so let's see. Spirit, what is the confession? What is the confession here? What is the confession? I recognize myself inside of you. And I know you think I only care about sex, but that's not true. I do care about you. I just don't know how to share my emotions with words. Okay, so, you know, maybe they have to show you <laughs> instead of texting it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So let's see. Spirit, what, what is the final guidance that you have for Libra for the present moment? What is the guidance message you have for Libra or maybe the cross watcher who is watching? Okay, we have solace bodies of water and it says spend time near water such as a lake, river or ocean to recharge your batteries. So, you know, here in Washington state, um, we're going to have a beautiful weekend. It's going to be super hot, 90. Oh my God. Um, that is really hot for this time of year, to be honest. Um, and it's kind of ironic. It's all nice and, and toasty around Mother's Day. But, you know, um, uh, days after, it's going to get cold. So it's just so strange how, you know, universes allow us to have a beautiful, sunny weekend. But if you have the opportunity, um, go near a body of water. And if you're not close to a body of water, you can definitely uh, take a shower okay and and immerse yourself into the, the water and really um be rejuvenated by you know water um and release any kind of negative energies um as you cleanse yourself okay so um if you haven't already you can take a look at my website smibeautyandbath.com where i offer bath bombs and bath salts and the whole reason why i offer that is because um it has a special ingredient in there which is dead sea salts and it's to help uh, purify your body of any kind of negative energy okay so um in order to get rid of any kind of negative uh, vibrations that is in your work field um, is to take a salt bath. So I have many wonderful salt uh, bath products on my website. Everything is made with dead sea salt, everything, even down to the body scrubs. So my body scrubs is for those who are interested in taking showers and um, you don't have a bath. And so I made an alternative for my uh, shower users, right? Or shower takers. Um, and it actually exfoliates your skin and leaves your skin um, like lighter and brighter and uh, removes the impurities from your skin. And you'll notice that your skin is really smooth uh, when you come out. So if you're interested in that, you can um, actually get up to 40% off on your first order. You just have to sign up to my newsletter. But if not, you can automatically get 20% off um, from now until the 15th, I believe, um, by using the coupon code SCRUBME. Also, um, yeah, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, um, I also have a sale going on and it expires on the 15th. Um, you can get 10% off by using the coupon code MOM. Okay. So if you need additional guidance and you need a personal reading about your situation, um, now is the perfect time to do it. Okay. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.